Well, hey, 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 peeps of Skyrim. This is a Turga, and I am here once again. We are going into the Sky Haven Temple. Got my followers following me. My horses are way down there waiting. And yeah, without much ado, let's just let's go. This is where it is. So here we go. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how to do it, but there's got to be a way to get in here. So, uh, let's get right down to it. Oh, what is going on here? Um, mm -mm -mm. what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I don't remember what to do here. We got, we got bodies that we've done, looked at. Must be something in here. Whoa. Okay. I don't want to make you crazy with my walking okay here here's everybody waiting for me waiting for me okay so let's see which one is it activate no not that activate That one? Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Ah! Whatever I did, did. Whoa, this guy just charged right in, right through the spider webs and all. Wait! Why are you stopping? We should be careful here. See these oh. symbols on the floor? Yeah. Hmm. Esbern's right. Look like pressure plates. Be careful. So where are we going? Which way are we going? Uh We'll cross once it's safe. Oh really? After I've done it. Okay, I think uh I think I have to go over there and pull the chain. So let's see. What I could do to get me to shout myself across. Uh, let me see. Unrelenting force, whirlwind sprint. Well, that's the one. Okay. Be careful. Uh, you better not be in my way, cause I'm gonna knock you down. Ah! Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh, you weren't supposed to follow me! Oh, pull the chain. Look safe now. Let's move. Yes, my friend. Must be close to the entry. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's what we do. Now what? We're following him. Following him. What is in here? Uh, that's where we just were. Okay. What is here? Skyhaven Temple has been discovered? Whoa! 
What? Okay, once again, there's a chest. Wonderful. Remarkably well preserved. I just want to know what's in here. A hundred and seven dollars. That's good. The hunting bow of fear. Whoa. I like that. What else is here? Not too much else. Alright, guys. Your blood, Brackenrod. My blood is needs to be here. What? I need to step there and do what? Activate blood seal. Well, this whole place appears to be a shrine to Raymond. The end of this, is, this is all about you getting my blood, huh? All right, here we go. If you need help drawing some blood, let me know. Hey! It's coming to life. Oh. Okay, now. <laughs> wow. I knew it. I knew it. That face went up. I've got your back. You've got my back? Am I supposed to go here first? What the hey? Why not? Okay. Well, this was relatively easy getting in here. You just needed to do what you needed to do. Original Akaviri bar reliefs, almost entirely intact. Amazing. You can see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Arduin's wall. This stonework is very impressive. Yes. It is a shame not many people will see Let's it. See what's up ahead. It's so quiet. Why is it so quiet in here? I need to go back there. Now what? This? In other circumstances, this would be a wonderful place for a rowdy get together. What do we need to do here is the question. Still here. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Does this go back down? You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord talks, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah. Patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragon. Or even Alduin himself. I'm right behind Remember, you. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin and his return. I've got so we're back. looking for a shout then. Damn it. 
you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? The gray beards might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. So, what do you have about the gray beards? Why do you hate them so much? I think because they do not want Alduin to die, but you do? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. Oh, that's the gray not beards true. are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the civil war or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Um... I don't know which one of these to choose to tell her, but I think we'll start at the top and work our way down. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've yeah. never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the gray beards up on their mountain. Oh, you're so full of it. You are so full of it. But I go. I guess I'll go up there and right. talk to them. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. Yeah. We'll see, look around that's Sky <laughs> Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. Uh, yeah, it's a better right. Than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to okay. in the first place. The throat of the, of the world. world. Talk to Algier and Jir. You see their distinctive long swords. Yeah. Knee, their ancient mission fulfilled as the last dragonborn contends with Aldred at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Yeah, she just wants to kill Alduin. I'm sure of it. So, that's the big dragon, Alduin. Right there. Yeah. And supposedly, that's me. I think they have the gender mixed up. Because I'm not a man. I'm a woman. Ha ha! Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'm gonna take one more look up here. See if there's anything I missed. So all this come in here. Oh, wait a minute. Did we go all the way up here? That looks like a door. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's the way out. Well, peeps, I guess our next destination is to go back to the Greybeards. Yeah, here we are, up here. And this looks like another door. Can we go back in here? Oh, we can. We can go back in here anytime we want. Well. Um, mm -hmm. 
I'll just take one look around, make sure I didn't miss anything on this second level here. Anything here? More doors. Or is it the same? If I were a dragon, These are all this doors. Place would make me nervous. All doors to go back out. All right, I think we looted. I think we did everything we're supposed to do. And I think I'm on my way to the Greybeards. So let's go. To the top of the world. And I'm pretty sure we could fast travel. So Where is it? Is it here? Or is it there? No. It's here. No, it's not. It's here! Somewhere here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It is there. Up here. Not Bree's home. Gotta get your position just right. Hi. Hrothogar. Got all our horses here. Well, we got three of them. One of them is kind of got a mind of its own. I wonder what this new shout all right, let's. Does exactly. Yeah, I wonder which shout I will learn. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in here, <clears throat> talk to the graybeards. there. He must be still in bed. Wait a minute. There he is. Ah, okay, we gotta go back. He's down here. There you are. Having a bite to eat. Sky, got you. You knew I was coming, didn't you? Sky above, voice within. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Oh, Delphine. The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their mm. reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have yeah. always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Yeah. Have you that's... learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? No. Um. Well, they are helping me, but I'm not their puppet. Uh, they just want to defeat Alduin. What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Oh. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? 
Yes, Those actually. Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. I'm sure it won't end. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Ah, did you hear that? Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So... No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Okay. We'll start from the beginning. Um. But not Dragonrend. You do not The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. Okay. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. Mm. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Oh. Um. Well, I have to ask you this then. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. Oh. If he so chooses. Where is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. I haven't met him yet. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Okay. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Okay, how do I get to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Oh. Okay. That's what we wanted to hear. Another shout so I can go up the mountain. Teach me the shout. I am following you. We're all going to be going out into the courtyard, I think. Yep. There we go. All right. I'm ready for another shout. It's the one that lets me go up there. Whoa. Remind me to save before I go up there. path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Oh, Kadok. I'm with you. Look. Oh, do I have to stand there and learn that one? Ah. Learn the clear guys. 
clear sky shout. Whoa. Okay, I got another shout. Clear sky shout. All right. Oh, is there another one? I will grant you my understanding of clear sky. Tell me this that. is your final right gift you. from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Right behind you. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving. Stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Okay. Use clear skies to open the way to Parthenax. Okay. This is it. Up here. This is it. And before I go through here, let me do a save. No, I don't want to wait. I want to save it. I think I'm going to need a weapon. Bow of Burning Flames. Let's... Ooh, that one's depleted. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Da Drain Heart Sword. I think I need to, like, do something to it, though. Oh boy. Recharge. Nope. Not that one. This one. Common soul? That's all I got? That's all I got. Okay. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these arrows off my back. Well, I thought I was going to take these arrows off my... There they... There they are. Alright, we're going to... Alright, and clear skies. We need to put that shout in... to... Okay, here we go. Oh, do I have to do that shout already? Oh, it took it took right my you. Huh? took my my health away. Holy moly! Didn't even do anything. Let's see. We want lingering stamina poison. We don't want no. Um, wow. I don't have very much here, do I? Potion of Resist Cold. Woohoo, I want that. Still here. Okay, I'm getting rejuvenated. I think I'm going to need more potions, though. I think I'm going to need more potions. All right. So. Look. Whoa. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're going to have to do this shout up here. Another shout. Another shout. Look. Ah. I don't really know the way. Look. Oh. Feeling dizzy. 
I'm feeling dizzy. No. Get out the way, goat. Oh. Okay, another one. There's something else up there. We're heading in the right direction. Gotta be up here. Now oh, which way? That way or this? Oh, another one to use. Another shout. Which way? This way. Somehow. Oops. Oops, wait a minute. Ah, there we go again. Wrong button. Oh, I'm getting dizzy again. Getting dizzy again. No. Throat of the world discovered. Is this it? This is it. I gotta save. Okay. We are here. Ah, there you are. Ah. Greetings, Wundanik. I am Parthenax. Greetings. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Well, I am a Turga. I am the Dragonborn.
I think I'll say I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dova King. Mm. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? <laughs> well, I uh, I need to learn the Dragon Ren shout. Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. Oh. What does that mean? By long tradition, the elder speaks first. Okay. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Okay. Match it if you are Dova King. The word calls you. Go to it. Fire breath. Understand fire as the dove do. Oh, wow. Whoa. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me, not. Okay, let me get my fire breath on. Fire breath. Elf, but as Dova. Okay, are you ready? I'm a blowing at ya. you. Come, Dova King. Ah, yes, Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Source, Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the Dragon Blood? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know I came for the Dragon Run? Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Well, how Your do I... kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Oh. Our Hadrime... Our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. How could I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Mm, because I want to learn all about... I don't really want to stop Alduin. I think I like this world. I don't want it to end. Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps mm. this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin. Would you stop the next world from being born? No. No. Uh, I don't want to debate philosophy. 
and I don't want the next world to even start. <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a Dova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. Oh. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Okay. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? No, of course not. Uh, you're going to answer my Trim. question. Patience, I am answering in my way. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Sokravakstruma, oh. the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Here? Using the dragon rend shout? Mm. Yes and no, Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Oh, how interesting. Mm, how to explain in your tongue? An elder the Dove scroll. have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. Oh. The Kelly. Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyek. So, you're saying the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Meye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Oh, so... Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Oh, well, what do you know? What do you know? Tell me, what do you really know? Tidkrent, time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, 
With the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Oh, oh, oh. So, where do I find the Elder Scroll? Crosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Oh. Oh, the Winter Cold. The Winter Cold College calls Trust to me. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Okay. Go to the college. Now, once I find it... Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then... Pele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. Oh. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... A seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Oh. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. Okay. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. Okay. Um, wait a minute. This is Haken. Haken. Gore. Mleith. And Feldir. Why do I think they are dragon names? The first mortals that I taught the Thum. The first tongues. The leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Okay. Might as well ask you all the questions. I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. Yes, there were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. Hmm. Dragon Wren shouts. What does it actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. Hmm. A truly von Mindoran. Interesting. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, 
and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Mm. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Mm. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Oh, here we go with the Fus. I need to do that. Faim and Yul. Which one do I want? I think I want the second one, but I, I don't know. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zi. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. Okay. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Okay. Okay, I wish to medicate, meditate. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? I'm going to go with the Faim. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zi. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the I spirit just said endures. That. that is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Okay. I think I just, uh... Drem your look. Greetings. Are we done? Zoom arc for our... Oh, we are done! No, we're not done. Now are we done? You want me to learn another word? Still here. Speak. I will listen. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Well, maybe I wish to learn Fus. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Force? Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. Okay. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Let's learn about Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. 
It Fire. is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Hmm. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What hmm. will you burn? What will you spare? Okay, maybe I should learn this one then. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? I think I can do any of them. In your tongue, the word simply means okay. fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. All right, I think we spoke. I think we said everything we need to say. Um, I think I'm missing a couple of my followers. Well, people, we are here at the top of the world with Parthenex. And we do need to go to the College of Winterhold. So, that would be our next quest. Parthenex said we must go there. We must speak with the college lore master and we must find what we need to find about the Elder Scrolls. The Elder Scrolls. This is the first time this has been mentioned in this game. So, I want to thank you so much for watching. And join me next week when we go to the college and see what there is to see about the Elder Scrolls. Like I always say, keep on keeping on. And bye for now. He's not done talking. What a cool looking dragon. Wow. What a cool looking dragon. Bye for now, y'all. <laughs>